Cynthia Kadohara is considered one of the strongest voices in Asian American literature. Cynthia was born in Chicago, Illinois. She dropped out of high school but eventually obtained a degree in journalism from the University of Southern California. She started her writing career by writing short stories and suffering many rejections before achieving publication. She now writes for children, young adults, and adults. Her first novel for children, Kira Kira, unexpectedly won the 2005 Newbery Medal, and her other books have won other awards as well. Weed Flower, published in 2006, is the story of Sumiko, a young Japanese-American girl who lives on her family's flower farm where they grow weed flowers to sell in the market. But then, in 1941, the Japanese bomb Pearl Harbor, and life changes forever for Sumiko. All Japanese Americans are relocated to designated internment camps. They lose all their possessions and their entire livelihoods. Sumiko's family goes to Poston, Arizona, one of the largest internment camps in the U.S., which imprisons nearly 20,000 Japanese American citizens. The internment camp is on a Mojave Indian reservation. Sumiko learns more about the universal human tendencies of prejudice, as well as how to overcome prejudice, when she and a young Mojave boy become good friends, seemingly against their will. But in order to show their loyalty to the U.S., some of the men in the internment camps enlist to fight Japan for the U.S. They are not given much of a choice. If they do not fight, they may be deported to Japan. Sumiko's two cousins go to war. Cynthia Kadohata has written several more novels, some for children, some for young adults, and some for adults.